it's, it's a family affair, isn't it? You know, he's, it's my son, you know, what, what, you know, I don't treat him any different. People say it may be a disadvantage, but it helps. Because at least when it's your son and when it's Tyson, we all say what we want to say. It's getting it to the bottom out. of it, the truth comes out. But well, look, we're all in each other's interest and we all go through the mill. Yeah, I wouldn't be where I am without my dad today, with the experience he, he's had. It's all down to the, the main man himself. He's dedicated, he's been brought up properly. They have instilled in him and he's took my advice. He says the things he does because he respects his mother and father. He's a humble character and I'm proud of him, he's my son. Looking back on him as a little boy, similar to what he is now, he's very quiet and he could, you could read what he was thinking by his face. He didn't have to speak. He nagged me so much one day to take him for a run and I felt sorry for him and I said, right, get your kit on. And his mother's going mad in the background. She says, you're going to take my baby six miles, give him a heart attack. I said, he'll be all right. And I'm running down the beach and I'm watching him. And I can see his face going a little bit red. So I, so I kept stopping because he wouldn't stop. And I kept putting my hand on his chest to see if I could feel his heartbeat revving a bit, you know. I was surprised then, you know, uh, that just the determination he had. It has been extremely difficult. He's had, a, he's had various problems. It was a time where I couldn't even pick 10 kilos up on a bar. Then Dad took me on the pads and there was nothing in my shots. I just burst out crying. I had a cold sores all around my mouth. I had like big uh, blister spots all around my face. We didn't know what was up. And then after that fact, my dad got me an appointment in Harley Street. The guy looked at me skin. He says, uh, it's a bad one. It basically poisons all your system, runs you right down. It's been a hard road to get back on my feet because there was times where I thought my dreams shattered. Nothing comes to you on a plate. You know, world titles are not given to people. A lot of sacrifices has got to be made. And when it's not happening and when you see the tears coming and we tried everything under the sun, spent thousands of pounds finding out what's wrong with him when all along he had a skin problem. As far as family's concerned with Tyson and Yui, they've achieved great, great things and Tyson, you know, he, he's excelled. You know, he's a linear ring magazine champion of the world. It was an amazing feeling to see my nephew lift them belts. So now it's Yui's turn. I'm only 22 year old and I'm uh, going to be champion of the world, without a doubt. On that ball? Yeah. Couple of rounds on that ball, that'll do. It was an intense fight. I mean, non-stop, non-stop action, man. I thought I just edged it by, by, by about three rounds. We're going to go in there and do a job. The only way you're going to beat me is by knocking me out. It was pretty heated on the press conferences and on, on the way in and stuff like that. He, he got the decision, he's making, still making excuses. I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand it, so... I could have made loads of excuses for, 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 uh, for, for my last camp and the last fight, but you just get on with it. You either fit the trip fight or you're not. You're not tricky. It's just like a little shit, a little, 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 little bulldog. It's gonna get annihilated. Very good, shake him out. One, two. It, all the fighters in the gym can take a little bit out of Jermaine's book. Definitely got better. One million percent, mentally and physically. But I do feel that Jermaine probably got a little bit caught up in the emotion the first time. We're going to London, to his own town. Like I said, you know, if, you're gonna, if there's two fights to win, the second one's always the best one to win. I hope that he brings a lot of support and, you know, they'll all get behind him, you know, and then all, they all can wipe his tears when he gets beat in the next fight. Because we're going home with that belt. I call him the jelly baby. He's not the most good looking person you've ever seen in the world, you know. You can tell that his face has been bashed a few times. And he will be a baby after we do a job on uh, Saturday. Fit, yeah, he's a fit kid. But you know, if you box, if you box the star that he boxes, then you're giving him a chance he didn't have, you know. But you know, for TV, it was probably a good fight, and it was that good a fight. The bastards to do it again, Darren Williams. <laughs> if you feel that you can give me a slap, you come and slap me and see what happens to you. I break your face in half. If you want to fight me, you can fight me. You won't last. Trust me. So behave yourself, because you're picking on the wrong person. I hope you've got a lot of friends, because you're going to need them. All right, ugly boy. Williams. <laughs> oh, BT Sports in the building. Right now we just got to top golf. A couple of my friends are upstairs. We're going to do as we do usually. I'm going to take their money because <laughs> we're the best at everything. Yeah. Whose money am I taking first? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone knows boxing's a lot on the brain. It's a lot to actually cope with, so it's good to actually relax, chill out with your friends. Usually I'm eating, but. <laughs> I just put his card in. <laughs> There's not much in there anyway. Oh! Oh! Why the bucket? <laughs> <laughs>
training camps are hard and they take a lot out of you so you know you need to preserve your energy a lot of people they get so nervous before the fight but when they the time they get to the venue they're so nervous and they burn up all their energy so i try to stay relaxed and just not think about the fight before i get there Woo! give my money b oh oh obviously being an athlete myself i understand like, what it's like leading up to like a game day obviously a fight for him obviously we just try and base it around like what he wants to do and make sure he's in the right mind frame leading up to a fight night <laughs> Me and Andy met in year seven in secondary school, so it's just been an ongoing friendship from past that like 12, 11. It's been a long time now, and obviously we're still uh, as strong as ever. Shot of the day, eight points. I've literally flushed the tenner down the toilet. You did? No, it's in my pocket, it's right. He used to come train with me down at Arsenal when we were younger. He had a try like uh, keep you out at one point. I said to him one day, blood, just go back to what you're good at. He's always been a big puncher and he's always had a, like a boxing technique. And then uh, from there, like, the rest is history. This is a regular occurrence. <laughs> These are suckers. They always bet me, they always lose. Give my money, B. Yeah, man. <laughs> I was definitely a bit uncertain about making the move up here. It wasn't 100% straight away. I've got my, my daughter back at home, my, I asked my dad, my dad was like, you know, this is you, this is your journey, this is what you've got to do. I grew, I grew up in South East London. Originally, I was from Peckham, basically a ghetto down there, <laughs> you know, when, when I was growing up, you know. Uh, you know, I, I ended up being a street kid, so any opportunity we, we had to have a fight, we, we would. At that age, we thought that's what it was about. It, it, was, it was about having a reputation for yourself, and you grow out of that, you know, things, things happened. You know, to me and a close friend of mine, basically we wasn't, we wasn't looking down the barrel of a gun. So my fate would have been one of those sort of things. That's all that that life out there has to offer. You know, you know and that's all it has, that's all it can give anyone. You know, some some people get lucky. They get they, they can slip through and they do whatever they do, and you know they they, they can get in and out. Yeah, double jab was a, was a what was a gym that I ended up going into. I helped a lot of troubled kids, you know. But um, once it got onto the map and people knew about it, you know, there was a lot of kids coming through from the area and things like that, you know. I, I, w I would say, I'd say my, my fighting style is, is very in your face, up close and personal. I wouldn't say that I'm a dirty fighter, but I would do what I've got to do to win. Obviously, I, I, I don't like what I've been through in that, in that sort of way, but I don't regret it because, you know, it's, I'm, I'm a very strong-minded and physically strong person because of these things. Well, this weekend, Daniel's fighting for the WBC Youth World Title fight, which is a 10-rounder. He's fighting Julian Fernandez. I know he's happy. I know he's fit and well, mentally strong. I think if we give him time, like I said, he's only 19, we give him time to develop into the fighter that he can be, I think we're going to have a good journey. We went up to Scotland and we sparred quite a lot up in Scotland. Really good quality rounds, which is what we needed for a fight of this magnitude at this stage in his career. Just fighting for a belt in my, my fourth fight is it's a step up, but I'm ready for it. And I'm looking forward to getting the belt and proving myself. This is a big fight and obviously a big statement Daniel's making, but we all believe in him and we all think he can do it. So, like I say, we could hang about for another year and have like four and six rounders, but his credibility and what he's shown so far is way beyond that. You need to keep giving him challenges, otherwise if you don't get them challenges, he's not going to rise to the occasion, he's going to go stale in the gym and we're not progressing. Seeing as I'm fighting for a title in my fourth fight, things have happened pretty quickly and um, uh, you never know what's around the corner in boxing and I'm, I'm just preparing for everything. So hopefully he turns up, that's the main thing, then we can make the fight happen. <laughs> Great, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. All the hard work's done there, so I can't wait to go. I read in an article that uh, my opponent said that I've been fed from a silver spoon, that I'm hanging on the tail of my dad. My dad was a good fighter, but I've achieved more than my dad in fighting for a title. My dad ne never fought for a title. He can keep saying what he likes, but on the night, he won't be saying no more. My last performance was, was up there with one of my best, and this one's going to be even better. No disrespect to any others, but I think I'm a level above the domestic scene now. Evans has said I've never been in with someone who hits as hard as him. That's his game plan, to get in there, to try and knock me out. He's going to have a long night, or a short one. Boxing's 
boxing is an entertaining sport. So I'm always looking to put on the show. This is definitely the biggest fight of my career. On paper, the best opponent, 100%. So his last name is Biryani. We call him Chicken Biryani. He's from Hungary. I'm always hungry. <laughs> <laughs>